my friends, Natasha with Natasha Scrapple Corner and today I'm coming to you with the last uh, project of a series uh, Maggie Maggie's birthday um, project and this is altered um, top here whatever I never pronounce it correctly and it's large that's why I'm standing uh, on my desk and wiggling my socks off here and kicking you in the butt on my chair um, and uh, yes uh, I picked up uh, that top here um, at one of the craft supply stores online a uh, long time ago in keeping in mind Maggie's birthday I don't don't ask me it's weird and I always say and you you hear me all the time I always saying if your project is not going uh, quite yet you know sometimes it's just stalling and stalling and stalling is just not going that means that necessary part haven't arrived yet because the minute you will receive that part everything will go smooth so this was a long journey uh, you know process of gathering things here and there and getting some idea so it's almost like a year weird right so um basically yes i picked up that top here it's burlap top here that's why i'm using like all burlapy you know flowers and etc and and she asked for cream and i thought burlap <laughs> yeah um sometimes i have a weird understanding of things uh interpretation of the things so basically uh the top of top here is a burlap wrapped as a bottom but i envisioned the blooming uh, top here so and i started to create uh this project from the bottom up because idea is you see um, each let me zoom in idea was like that that she can reuse what's put on the top in here so all these wild orchid craft flowers are from the packs that I used on another part of the project and I finished using all of them by just wrapping it um, on top of the top here but they are not just adhered they are pinned on the stick pin so she basically can take out the flower that she needs and use it for her project I use the stick pin for stick pin cushion and when she absorbed all this yamminess she's gonna have a naked top here okay now if I can put it all back so each flower in here is pinned on so she can definitely definitely reuse them so uh, let me resituate uh, and put the camera down find the proper view for you uh, so I can show you the miniature that I created so um, going back to the idea after she reuses the top part I want I want uh, whatever left to have 
intact composition wise theme so even though she will be using the top it was looking absolutely beautiful even without those flowers on top so she can always have that miniature uh, displayed in her craft room even without this gorgeous bloom part okay so again let me resituate and i'll be back with the lower part of the top here all right so uh, my inspiration was uh were projects from linda face chick 77 hi linda and i wanted to create something something like one of her beautiful works um creations uh, which has that fairy tale behind it uh, you know a little miniature world that she creates and um, that blows our minds and etc <laughs> so um i wanted to create like a little Uh, backyard childhood um, scenery um, for Maggie because uh, she's raising uh, two wonderful grandkids um, not raising but um, you know babysitting and um, she's uh, right now uh, in the childhood world let's put it this way because when you are communicating with a child uh without your knowledge you are in in the world of childhood and i wanted her to have her own little reminder of the childhood even if the grandkids will they will grow up <laughs> and etc uh she would have this little world so um the stamen for the tree i wrapped the uh, old prima um prima uh floral you know one of those long uh, packs and it has the swirls and the flowers and leaves all swirled in so i just wrapped wrapped it around the stem and it was kind of pale a uh, yellow which was perfect for my seam and in the front right in the front i put the uh, metal spool spoon that i picked up in one of uh janking trips and it was it's absolutely gorgeous it's such a delicate work in there so and Maggie is such an amazing lady she, the word for her is she is the lady I admire her admire her talent admire her as a person admire her strength admire her weakness weaknesses admire how she handles things she is um, a model for me for life so um, and um, I took I didn't I couldn't find a small enough butterfly uh, so it will proportionally you know small although it's still not proportional so I took one of this uh, this type of flowers the four petal ones the Prima and I kind of folded them you know sideway and adhere to create like a butterfly and then I took the feather butterfly and I trim the feathers down so I downsize it I cut the middle out I took the body out I saved the antennas and I put the pearl bead trim
I'm sorry. So you see pearl bead trim? I need to lift it up. Ah. Sorry guys for shaking us. So that's better. So um, if I will, well I cannot fold because there is this flower base in there underneath and I created the smaller version of butterfly and I took my loose beads and I glossy accented those on the spoon and in here if we'll pull the burlap down a little bit I put the wooden button in here and some ceramic flowers and a bow from NSK and if you see there are some ceramic flowers in there and there okay so I kind of spread those so and this is the spoon that goes in there you see it's kind of like um, lighter color in here it's like almost like a iron color metal iron so let me slowly move the scenery um, I used the a dusty attic one half of the fence and I wanted to do two gates like open up in the world but then it's such a small area uh, that I wound up using just only one and uh, so uh, I gessoed it first couple times so it will become white because I was using a white fence which was um, you know picked up at Michael's and I wanted the color of it be being continuous so I needed to start with a, the same base so I adjusted it white to the color of paint of the fence and then I used the um, Lindy's um, Lindy's um, stamp uh, spray I'm sorry this one yeah to get that breasty kind of you know color to it um, and I just uh, put some uh, wild rocky craft roses here and there and you know put the wine you know swir swirled it so oopsie so and here is this fence in here, let me lift that up. Um, the fence, and uh, I put um, wonderful you in here. It's tied with a bow on the fence, and the roses are all, um, you know. Oops, not in the frame. And the roses are going along the fence, and um, this little thing that dangles in here I'm gonna need to zoom out so you would understand what it is okay so um, that is a swing that I created um, using the burlap garland that I picked up at Michael's. They had that burlap series and I just snipped one part of it with the two ropes on the side. I tied the bows and the ribbon was already in the garland and it has just you know like layered burlap flowers with the buttons and for the um, stool for the for the seat I used uh, this uh, wooden piece and it says cherish and again I uh, gessoed it and then 
I use the Lindy's to, um, you know, to um, bring the color back into. So it swings, and it pin. It is pinned on on the top in here, so she can take off the swing. But I wouldn't know why. So it's kind of cute. So, um, so she's swinging across the fence. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I just love it. I love miniatures. Um, okay, and if we'll turn that way on top in here, there is this birdhouse that we picked up with Janet's while I was visiting her at Michael's. They had on clearance miniatures and that beaded um, dragonfly I found in my butterfly stash when I was looking for a small butterfly and it was just perfect so I pinned it all in so it's all pinned it's not glued so she can reuse it if she wants which I'm sure she does not um, and if we will if I will bring your attention a little bit in here I'm sorry it's so hard to record because it's so big and in the same token so small so on the wine I hang a hanger which is one of the series miniatures and this flag banner uh, it's kind of like tied on the um, on the hanger I just hanging loose drying I guess just drying on air and this hat you know they're just hanging there in the backyard <laughs> hanging in the backyard and uh, on the bottom in there it's really hard to see but uh, still no see this one is a spool uh, and with a thread you know on it and um, it grows the flowers out of it instead of putt and um, here it says can I read backwards dream come true so that's that and then this is like breathtaking cool okay this is the mold of the uh, carousel horse that I have at NSK and I don't know why people you didn't pick it up but you didn't and this is absolutely gorgeous so what I did I did the resin and I sprayed it with the Lindy's twice and let it dry and then I just colored it with the stickles and look how gorgeous it is so and it has that pole and I use the straw little paper straw um, for the pole and um, um, Trish gifted me a wooden piece of uh, light street light so I cut it off and I use only the top and I tuck it inside the straw uh, making that little kind of like um, canopy out of the flowers the prima flowers in here and on the back I glued the uh, flat back pearl from NSK with the like brownish honey brownish color and it's almost like a light bulb and light so it's kind of like light shines in the light so and it's carousel but inside of the um, paper straw there is a wooden bamboo skewer so it's all pinned in so it's not just you you you, you can't um, it's gonna bend you know the paper um, thing will will bend so yeah um, that's that so how stinking adorable is that okay let me Go down and in here 
I have the paper clip that I sprayed the heck out of it and I put uh, some um, tiny rosettes that are grown out of the paper clip and in here oops, we have more rosettes and some um, scrap of the um, doily that I um, lost when I was doing the flying cup because one of my pups stole that piece <laughs> and then I suddenly found it so I'm telling you everything happens for a reason everything so they stole that piece so I can tuck it in in here um, and in here so we are almost to the front there is this button on the front um, I created the bird nest I used one of the recollection bird nests and it was too big so I cut around it make it smaller and use one of the um, Prima flat uh, flowers in there and sprinkle some resin flowers and the buttons here and there and the uh, crystals hearts in there so pearls and right here I know you cannot really tell because there is so much going on but if you will take a look there is clear bird that sits on the nest and it swivels so it's almost like ready to fly so uh, do you remember in Michaels they had those Ash Ashley's brand they had the flowers the butterflies the birds and everything in different colors Ashland and they came on the wire so I left it on the wire just stuck it in and it swivels so there is a mo motion on that one and if I will bring you up one more time excuse me right there because it's really hard to see yes right here right here I cut a longer stem of the wire and I tuck it in in there and here's another butterfly is on the way to the nest because um, by feng shui it, you cannot a family cannot have one uh, which means um, you need to have a picture of two of something to two horses two houses two trees um, otherwise if you will have one that means loneliness so I wanted to have the full family the full house and that's what I wish Maggie to um, have a full house um, maybe a little bit different from understanding full house but um, your grandkids and kids um, and uh, yes um, I absolutely admire uh, this person and I uh, created it with uh, so much love and uh, oopsie and uh, I hope I really hope Maggie you um, like it and burlap is not gonna be a problem and on the bottom because it was um, uh, shading um, you know burlap that you know nasty thing I doubled layered it with the doilies it's still shedding some stuff but it's not too bad so I hope you um, accept my um, Maggie yeah, I hope you accept my um, love tree <laughs> for your birthday so uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you much for listening to the story behind this project because there is always a heart in the projects that we do and it's very important to any crafter to so the people would hear the story behind the project. So stay tuned for the pictures uh, for the top year um, without wonderful flowers and with the wonderful flowers thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this series uh, maggie's birthday um thanks so much for watching i'll talk to you later bye